Hello Joomla people, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to discuss with you how to incorporate Google Analytics into your existing Joomla account. You may be aware that there are many extensions out there that can actually do this for you, but there are reasons to not incorporate these into your actual website. Some of these reasons include really bad support or lack of support at all, and of course you may have problems upgrading when a new version of Joomla comes out. I am going to show you how to actually embed the Google Analytics code directly into your website and this should eliminate any problems in the future. The first thing you'll want to do is set up a Google Analytics account if you don't already have one. Go to google.com forward slash analytics and you'll be presented with this page and if you have an existing account just click on this button to access it. If you need to set up a new account click here and Google will walk you through all of the steps. After you access your account or sign up for a new one, this is the page you'll be directed to. And what you want to do is either add a profile for a new domain, or if you have an existing website and you want to add a different Google Analytics account, click on this button here. We're going to assume that this is a brand new account, and we're going to type in our URL. Then you'll see that there's a checkbox here if you want to tie in your Google Analytics data with your existing AdWords account. If you do not have an AdWords account, you can leave this checked or unchecked, it won't matter. If you do have an AdWords account, you may wish to check this for future use. Then we'll click on the Finish button, and you'll be presented with the code right here. Click inside the box, you'll notice it highlighted it all, and copy this. This is the code that you're going to put into your Joomla account to make sure you can track everything in the future. All right, now that you have the code in your clipboard, you want to log in to the back end of your Joomla account, and we're going to paste this into your template. So go up to Extensions, Template Manager, now look for the template that is your current default in this case. You'll notice that here. So it is RT Afterburner. We're going to click on that and click on Edit. Then we're going to look for Edit HTML right here. Click on that. Now this is really important. Click in here. Click in the box with the HTML. Choose All. Copy. Now paste this into a text editor and save it somewhere on your hard drive that you'll remember. Just in case something goes wrong, you want to make sure you have a clean copy of the original HTML that you could paste back in an emergency. Now assuming that you have that safely set aside, scroll down to the bottom of the page, look for the end body tag, and that is forward slash body. So what you want to do is I like to clear a little space for it by just putting in some breaks and then I will paste the code and you'll see that there's the code right there and then I will hit save and your Google Analytics code has now been embedded into your site. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like live. Okay, here we are back at the home page and we're going to go look at the underlying source code to make sure that our Google Analytics code was embedded properly. Let's take a look at the source, and it should be at the very bottom. We'll scroll down to the bottom, and sure enough, there's the end body tag, and you see directly above it the Google Analytics tags that we put in. You'll see it's a Google Analytics right there, and this will be on every page of your site. Now, do take into consideration that Google Analytics does lag behind a few hours, so it may take two or three hours before you actually start seeing any results at Google Analytics website.